your chest. I have to go to the front. Okay, go on. Hey Hawks, welcome back to Hawk News, where you're finally seeing new faces. I'm Journey Bell. And I'm Gabrielle Pocum. And this is Hawk News. If you're interested in trying out for baseball, the tryout meeting is December 10th at 4.30 in room E210. Oh. Hello? Oh, you're wondering if you have an Asian American and Pacific Islander student union? Well, we actually do. The first meeting is on December 2nd at 4.30 in room D-108. Don't be late. Girls Soccer is hosting tryouts December 2nd through 4th, 4 to 5.30. If you're interested in trying out, read the information on the flyer. This week was the third annual Hawks at the Barn where teachers show animals and compete for best in show. Hawks, is a, Hawks at the Barn is an annual event that we started hosting three years ago um, where teachers will sign up to compete against each other showing livestock animals. They'll be buddied up with one of our FFA members um, and everybody comes out and watches them show. But we also have like games, dinner for all of our teachers to thank them for everything that they do for us. It's just our way of showing our appreciation for all of our staff at Hendrickson High School. The winners of each category were Mr. Westerfield, who showed Pickles the Goat. His FFA trainer was John Bowers. Miss Tidings showed Mozzarella the Lamb and was trained by Juju Martinez. Miss Cardenas showed Jade, the pearl-wearing pig who sits on command. Miss Cardenas was paired with Zoe and Nessany Ganthinia. They went on to compete against each other for the best in show. Congratulations to Miss Tidings and Mozzarella for being named this year's Best in Show, with Miss Gardenas placing second and Mr. Westerfield placing third. This is my third year doing this. It was so much fun. I'm so excited to have won and work with Juju and her lamb matzah. It was a blast doing this. This is my second year doing it. Last year I came in second in the goat category, but this year I came in first overall for the goats, third overall for the entire event, but it gives me a goal to strive for next year to win the grand champion of the entire thing next year. So I'm not done yet. Hey friends, here's our, our little Grebs giving today on Greb and Friends. That's it. <laughs> uh, first question, you, you don't seem to want to give Thanksgiving a chance here. No, and not really. Um, I don't know, I think we just gotta skip to the good stuff, you know, like December is where it's at, like Christmas, you know? Give November a chance, all right. Okay, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? <laughs> Uh, probably just, I'd say mashed potatoes with gravy. Okay. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Definitely, probably ham. Ham? Yeah. Mmm, probably cranberry sauce. Like out of a can? No, not the can, like the, like, actual cranberries. All right, all right. Probably I'm have to go with apple pie. Apple pie? I'm, well, yeah, I've just been, like, really, like, feeling okay. for it. That's like 4th July, but... Okay. What? Fourth yes. of July? Apple pie? Yeah. American is apple pie? It's pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, yeah, pumpkin pie. Or pecan pie. Pecan pie. Yeah. Mm. Mac and cheese. Okay, 100%. all right, there we go. There mm -hmm. we go. Now we're talking. Yeah. 
Ooh, I think it has to be like a sweet potato casserole with like marshmallows on top. Delicious. Thanksgiving food is so weird. <laughs> cranberry sauce. Oh, like out of the can? No, 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 no. I make the cranberry <laughs> sauce myself. Stuffing. I don't really like stuffing. Greens. Okay. Like greens. collard greens? Yes. Okay. Greens. All right. Which teacher are you most thankful for this year? Um, I don't have one. Oh, <laughs> for teachers. Oh, wait, actually, okay. Miss Ray. Miss yeah. Ray, yes. Okay. Uh, probably either Miss Guthrie or Mr. Fisher from theater. Okay. They both just tell me a lot, and then Miss Guthrie's like the nicest person alive. So, probably Ms. Hobb. Okay. She helps a lot with my uh, environmental science. She's All real right. patient in teaching. Okay. Probably Ms. Gonzalez. Okay. And what does she teach you? Uh, she taught me freshman year in creative writing in English one. Okay. Um, but I've talked to her ever since she's taught me. Oh, that's great. Uh, Past <laughs> years, maybe Ms. Overton. Okay. Ms. She was Overton. really nice. All right. And then and what about this year? This year, Mr. Bush, he, he makes me laugh sometimes. Either Ms. Brumley or Coach Flores. Okay. If you had to choose between Brumley or Flores, who would you choose and why? <laughs> hmm. Mm. Probably Coach Flores because he gives me Pop-Tarts. Okay, Pop-Tarts. That's mm -hmm. it's not very nutritional, Coach Flores. Tell us about a staff member that you're most thankful for this year. I would say that I am probably most thankful for Ms. G. Um, she is the FFA teacher. Oh, yeah. um, she always allows my dog to come and hang out for some doggy daycare. And she's actually my former student. I used to teach her math. So I'm just oh, thankful she's yes. here and that we get to work together because yep. she's amazing. Um, Miss Smith. Uh, what's her first name? Sarah Smith. Sarah Smith. Why are you thankful for her? Um, she's just so fun and she lets me lay down in her classroom and talk to her and she's really funny. All right. I'm most thankful for Ms. Seiler. Okay, and what class is that? Human Growth and Development. Okay, what's the best thing you learned so far in that class? <laughs> um, we had the babies. Oh yeah, Do you, how'd your baby go? It was a rough weekend. Yeah, I bet. All of them. You don't have like a favorite though? Like the one that's helped you out the most? I can't do that, I don't want my teachers to be mad at me. Okay, all right, Just see that's them. a great answer. And then what's your favorite Christmas food? <laughs> uh, my favorite Christmas food would probably be... Shoot. Uh, See, Christmas cocoa. is present, no, Thanksgiving yeah, is food. <laughs> hot cocoa or something. Hot cocoa, yeah. all right. And where'd you get your sweater at? You know, I just found it in my house. You That's know, a great I sweater. This together. <laughs> For December. All, all right, right, it was great. All right, perfect. Hey Hawks, Thanksgiving is next week. Make sure to get excited. Wait, real talk though. Let us tell you ways how y'all can stay safe over Thanksgiving break. Make sure to keep children and pets away from the stove. If you're getting anything out of the oven, make sure you're wearing oven mitts. And always monitor your food while it's cooking. And don't eat too much because you might get into a food coma. Now here are some other ways you can stay safe during Thanksgiving. All right, Hawks, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys after Thanksgiving for the last episode of 2024. Gabby, give me a beat real quick. Last time you see us, so don't be sad. When you see Alyssa and Kate, just be mad because they're really bad. And Gabby and Journey are rad. And now we finna dab. Bye, Hawks! Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence.